Today we're making Italian sponge cake. Hi everyone, welcome to Black Cat Kitchen. I hope you're doing well. Today we're making one of my nonna's traditional recipes, Italian sponge cake. This is also known as pan di spagna. This cake originated in the 18th century and was invented by an Italian chef from Genoa. He was working at the time for the royal family in the Spanish courts and he served this cake to them and it became an instant hit. This recipe has been passed down through nonnas for many generations. My nonna always had one in her house and anytime we were a little bit peckish, we always had a slice dipped in milk or coffee or covered in strawberries and cream. Some of my most favorite family memories revolve around this cake. I can't wait to share it with you. Let's get started. See the description below for a list of ingredients. This cake is fairly easy to make, but it can be a little bit delicate to work with. So we want to make sure our oven is up to temperature. We've got it set to 315 degrees Fahrenheit or 155 degrees Celsius. We'll start by preparing our pan. So you just want to really lightly butter and flour it, making sure you go up that center piece as well. It's important to make sure you use flour here because the flour will allow the cake to rise up and grip to the sides of the pan. I'm using an angel food pan because that's what my nonna always used. You can do this in little sponge tins or a flat one, uh, but it may not get the same amount of rise that you're looking for. This is the best way to get a nice height on this cake. Into our bowl go seven egg yolks, 272 grams of flour, about two cups, 177 milliliters of water, about three quarter cups, four teaspoons or 19 grams of baking powder, 300 grams, a cup and a half of sugar, 125 milliliters or half a cup of vegetable oil or a neutral flavored oil, and just a pinch of salt. We need to mix this for quite a while until our egg mixture is really light and silky and has an almost ribbony effect. You can do this by hand. I would recommend putting on a good television program, sitting with the bowl in your lap and giving it a good old whisk for about 10 to 15 minutes. So this is the consistency you're looking for. You want it to be able to make those beautiful ribbons on the top. You can see it's become a really pale yellow color and that'll lighten up even further when we fold in our egg whites. Into our bowl go our seven egg whites. I'm also going to add to this one teaspoon or 3.5 grams of cream of tartar. Cream of tartar just gives structure to your egg whites and makes sure your cake has that nice rise. We're going to whisk these egg whites to stiff peaks. Ta-da! So we're going to add in just a scoop of our egg whites, maybe two, just to lighten up the egg yolk mixture. We wanna make sure we're really patient with this. And by adding this little bit at the beginning, it just makes incorporating the rest of the egg whites a little bit easier. Now we'll tip in the rest of our egg whites and gently fold them together. So you'll just want to go down the center and up the back side you can see it's all nicely incorporated. It's nice and light and it's going to bake up so beautifully. Let's pour it into our prepared pan. Let's get that into the oven. Look at the rise on that. It's important to flip this right away as soon as it comes out of the oven. That's why there are these little feet on it. So very carefully, we're going to flip that over. And we're just going to let it cool completely. Tastes 
just like how my nonna used to make it. It's perfect with that little bit of cream and those strawberries on it, but it is amazing by itself. It's so light, it's fluffy, but it's got a really lovely moistness to it as well. You could eat this cake any time of day. In fact, it's pretty common in Italy to have it for breakfast. Cake for breakfast? And it's not your birthday? If you've never had an Italian sponge cake, this is the perfect recipe to give it a try. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. We'll see you next time.